In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to go through the client experience of a gather request. So if your accountant has sent you a gather request through SafeSend, you will see an email that says complete your 2023 gather request or for whichever tax year you may be on. We're simply going to hit let's get started. And we're going to verify our identity via access code. So we will send a code. That code will be sent back to our email or we will get it in a text message. Today we're getting it in an email. So we'll grab that code from the email, enter the code in and click confirm. Now, once we're in, this is the page that we will see. We'll see a welcome and a message from our CPA. And on the left hand side, we'll see the steps that this gather has us completing. So for today, we're going to see all four tasks that uh, we have to offer, signing documents, answering our questionnaire, completing an organizer and uploading documents. Now you may not see all these tasks depending on what your accountant has sent to you. You may see one, two, uh, three of them or all four today. We're just going to show you how to go through all four. So we have all four. We're going to click get started. And the first thing we're going to do is E sign. So today we have an engagement letter. So to sign our engagement letter, we will click start. We'll be taken to our signature box. And when we click on that, we will be asked to type our name or we can draw it. If we're on a mobile device, a tablet or anything, we can even use our mouse to go ahead and place our signature. Apply that signature, click next, and we'll go to the next spot, which is to type our name in. And that is all I had to do for this engagement letter. I will click next to finish that signing and I will move on to the next step, which is the custom questionnaire. Now this questionnaire uh, will have a percentage tracker on the top right and show you how many questions you have answered if it is a little bit more lengthy, uh, but it's important that we go ahead and answer these. So we'll start uh, by answering yes. Uh, some of these questions can be dynamic. So if I answer yes, it may generate another question, but if I hit no, it does not. So we'll hit yes. Uh, what's your spouse's name? Uh, can you and your spouse be claimed as a dependent by another taxpayer? No. And we'll simply answer these questions as we need to answer. And you'll see that that percentage and tracker uh, update as you're answering questions. So you know where you are on that questionnaire uh, and how close you are to completing it at any given time. Now, once I have answered all the required questions, we'll hit next and we'll be taken to our organizer. Now, when we get to the organizer, Gather is going to convert it to a fillable PDF that allows us to actually fill it out digitally right here in this experience. Uh, so we simply start going through the pages. Uh, when we get to the questionnaires, we can see we have boxes here that allow us to answer yes, no questions. We move to personal information. We can see personal information and we also see our previous year info as well. So if we uh, do have anything that we filled out last year, it will be there. We can always click in and update it. Uh, enter into any of the boxes and start filling it out. Now we'll see the text color and the background color change. So we'll always have a visual representation of information that we have filled out versus what was in there previously. And on these pages that have the little symbol here to the right of the bookmark, this means that we may potentially have source documents we want to upload. So as we're filling it out, if we wanted to upload source documents, we absolutely can. We simply click here to upload, choose a file or drag and drop it into this window and it will upload into the gather request. Now we can finish this and go next, or we can save and close, come back and complete it later. But for today's example, let's go ahead, hit next. It will ask us a confirming question. Uh, are you completed? Either review the missing information or mark the organizer is finished. Today we will mark it as finished and that will take us to the next step, which is our document request list. So these are the documents your accountant has specifically asked you to upload to them based on the previous year organizer. So what you provided them last year. Now, this is a pretty cool um, tool here. You can upload individual items, but we also have AI recognition built into this document request list. So you can upload multiple files and that recognition will go through and automatically match those to the requested items. So I can upload one item as needed, or what I can do is upload many source docs at one time. So I'll simply drag and drop about 16 items here. And we're going to see the upload in progress for those files. And in the background, 
recognition from that AI is happening. So we can just leave the page and come back later, or we can sit and wait. And you can see here that I already have two, four documents recognized of the 31. I have 12 additional documents that are not categorized yet. And as that recognition is going through, we see that percentage of requested items going up. So uh, down here in the bottom, we see check, mo uh, excuse me, check marks uh, telling us which ones were recognized and we simply let the AI do its thing. And when we're done, we can take a look at it and anything that was not recognized and added to the requested items will be over here on the right in what we call the unrecognized file section. And what you can do is either leave it there, the firm will still get it and they will still see what the file is based on your naming convention, or you can hit this edit pencil and manually match it to one of those items that was requested. So if the AI didn't recognize it, you can just open this up and say, okay, this is uh, this requested document, hit update, and then we will go update the completed percentage and everything. And you can come back and do more later. You don't have to upload everything in this one uh, session. You can hit save and close, and that will take you back to the beginning. And on the left hand side here, you can see that we have completed our engagement letter and we can download a copy. We have completed our questionnaire. We've completed the organizer. And again, we can download a copy or we can go ahead and hit continue again to get right back to that upload document screen where we can complete this request list and upload more files uh, to our account. So that is a quick walkthrough of how Gather works. Again, you may not see all four steps. You may only see two of them, uh, but this should get you through it pretty easily. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you all and have a great day.